Hi, I'm Sandeep Kumar. I'm a vascular neurologist at Beth Israel Deepness Medical Center in Boston. In my practice, I routinely evaluate patients with acute strokes. Recently, endovascular therapy or EVT has emerged as a very effective tool for improving outcomes after stroke. It is a life-changing procedure, but its success hinges on getting the right people to the right place quickly. So with funding from an Ariadne Lab Sparks grant and in collaboration with our community partners, we are developing a simple and an effective tool, which is a checklist to improve processes of care for stroke in the emergency room settings, which would eventually help save lives and reduce disability in stroke patients. Endovascular thrombectomy, or EVT, is a highly effective treatment for stroke. Most disabling strokes are caused by occlusion of a major blood vessel in the brain from a blood clot. For these blockages, EVT lets us actually go into the artery and take out the clot. Using X-ray imaging, we are able to very precisely guide a catheter through arteries all the way up to the brain to open the vessel, restore blood flow, and remove the blockage. Every second counts when blood isn't getting to the brain. A New York Times article recently highlighted how EVT can be life-changing, but its effectiveness hinges on how to quickly identify the right candidates for this treatment and then how quickly this procedure can be performed in these patients. And speed is often a challenge. It can be challenging to first recognize symptoms of a stroke at home, summon an ambulance, and then have the ambulance transport them to the right hospital. There, there can be delays in triaging, in workup, in referrals. Currently, most acute stroke patients are evaluated in community hospitals, which are not set up to perform EVT. So these patients have to be then transported to EVT-capable centers. So there are lots of steps that need to go just right for this procedure to be successful. The checklist we have created helps to streamline that process so that ED doctors, nurses, and staff can rapidly assess and triage potential candidates for EBT. It includes things like, once the stroke patient enters the emergency room, are the right people notified right away so that the process for evaluation can start occur promptly. It includes things like, is the CAT scan table open to take the patient? Do we have contact number from next of kin or family to obtain more history or obtain consent? An important aspect of creating the checklist has been equal collaboration between us and the community partners so that the content reflects the real life practice in the emergency room setting in a community hospital. Now that we have created the content of the checklist, we are testing whether it's easy for staff to use, then we'll test how it affects patient care. Our goal is to end up with a simple, inexpensive tool that is easy to implement in any type of healthcare setting. We hope that by spreading the benefits of this breakthrough to more patients, we can ultimately help reduce disparities in access to high quality stroke care and save more life and reduce disability from stroke.